Welcome. My name is Lynn Mitchell. This tutorial I will take you through the process of using Cinema 4D to model a low poly Egyptian styled bracelet. Once the base model is complete, I will export it and report it into ZBrush. Inside of ZBrush, I will show you step by step how I have added several layers of detail until the model has gone from around 3,000 polys to about a million. Last, I will texture of various groups and add materials to achieve the final ZBrush render. Parts 1 through 6 deal mostly with Cinema 4D. Parts 7 through 11 are all inside of ZBrush. I have speeded up the view, so about one hour is shown in around 20 minutes. You can pause the video at any time to observe the settings. Part 1 deals with the introduction and modeling of the cuff in Cinema 4D. Part 2, the scarab legs, setting up a reference, and modeling the scarab body. Part 3 will do more details on the cuff and tweaking the overall shape. Part 4 will do the bead modeling for the top and bottom rows on each side. Part 5 will deal with the jewel panels on either side and duplicating the model for the other side. Part 6 will finish the base model, check poly alignment, and export for, cinema, for ZBrush. For 7, we'll import the model, begin working on the cuff, and the scarab body. Part 8, we'll refine the body, use stenciling, and create some lines and cracks. Part 9, we'll use the stenciling some more, we'll do the legs, and projection master for some more details. Part 10, we'll work around the, the jewels, We'll use some stenciling and the projection master and work on the clasp and some of the jewels. Eleven, we're going to finally texture. We're going to use projection master. We're going to work on the jewels. Here are some renders. We started out with 3,000 and went almost to a million. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Thank you and happy rendering.